As FA devices are designed for use in various types of environments, failures caused by external noise, incorrect operation, wiring mistakes, and other external factors occur more often than failures of the actual device. Devices may need to be replaced depending on the failure. Lightning has struck nearby, resulting in a shutdown of the production line. You have tried to restart the device, but the power will not turn on. The device appears to have been damaged despite being designed to withstand significant changes in current. The device has been replaced with a spare, but this spare has no data. In this situation, you may be wishing you had made a backup. This could happen to anyone. Backing up data means storing copies of data on other media in case of device failure or other circumstances. If data backups are available, devices can be restored to the previous working state quickly and downtime can be minimized. GOT data can be backed up in two ways. By connecting with a personal computer or by using an SD card. Backups can be performed by establishing a connection between the GOT and GT Designer 3 to retrieve and store the data on a personal computer. However, a personal computer may not always be available or allowed to be brought on site, so I will describe the procedure to perform a backup using an SD card. First, insert the SD card into the SD card slot in the GOT. As illustrated, open the SD card cover at the rear of the GOT device. Once the cover is open by at least 90 degrees, make sure that the SD card access LED is turned off, and then insert the SD card into the SD card slot with the front side of the SD card facing away from the device. Close the cover by pressing the cover until it clicks into place. The GOT can access the SD card once the cover is fully closed. Now let's back up the GOT data. Backups are performed using the utility function. Utilities are used to configure connections between GOTs and other devices, configure screen displays, manage data, and perform other functions. A note of caution here. Before you can execute the backup utility, the backup and restore extension must be installed in the GOT's built-in flash memory. Refer to the included documentation for more information on the installation procedure. I will now describe the procedure to backup data stored in the GOT. First, display the utility screen. If the device is configured with the factory default settings, press and hold the upper left part of the screen to display the utility screen. The display method can be changed if desired. Refer to the product manual for more information. A single touch on the utility screen can change even important settings. Do not touch the screen except when necessary to perform the intended operations. From Utility Main Menu, touch Data Management, and then Backup Restoration. Touch GOT Data Package Acquisition, GOT Data. Make sure that the SD card is selected for Select Drive and then touch the drive name. The name of the drive is now highlighted. Next, touch Copy to begin copying the data. Touch OK. Touch OK. Once the copy process is finished, the dialog box indicating successful completion appears. 
Touch OK to close the dialog box. This completes the procedure to backup data to an SD card. Remove and store the SD card in a safe location. Let's now replace the GOT, assuming that some accident has happened requiring replacement. For safety, you must turn off the control power before replacing devices. After confirming that the power is off, disconnect the power cables. For power cables, use these kinds of round crimped terminals with insulating sleeves to prevent short circuits from happening as a result of screws becoming loose. The GOT is secured to the panel with mounting brackets. Remove the brackets to remove the GOT device. Next, we will prepare a new GOT. Connect the battery connector to the device. The battery is not connected at the factory to conserve the battery charge. Next, make sure the gasket is installed around the rear edge of the GOT. Insert the GOT device into the opening. Secure the brackets from the rear side. Use a torque driver to tighten the screws to a tightening torque within a range of 0.36 to 0.48 newton meters. If the tightening torque is less than the specified torque, the packing will not form a proper seal and allow water and dust to contaminate the device. Conversely, using too much tightening torque could result in operation failure due to panel deformation or damage or cause some other failure. Insert the previously removed SD card and then close the SD card cover. Reconnect the disconnected power cables. This completes the procedure to replace a GOT. Now we will restore the data to the newly installed GOT. Turn on the power to the GOT while pressing the S mode switch at the rear of the GOT. The installation process now starts. Do not remove the SD card or turn off power to the GOT while Install Now is displayed. Once the Installation Has Been Completed message appears on screen, touch the screen to restart the GOT. The GOT has restarted. If the device is configured with the factory default settings, the touch panel calibration screen appears. Follow the on-screen instructions to calibrate the panel. Finally, press the X at the upper right of the screen to restart the device. This completes the procedure to restore the data and the screens from the backup data. There are some other GOT backup functions besides backup restoration. Data from other Mitsubishi Electric FA devices connected to the GOT can be saved to the SD card inserted in the GOT so that these devices can also be easily reconfigured using the saved configuration data when necessary. We recommend using this function to backup data if the connected device is a Mitsubishi Electric device. This backup function can also be used to duplicate to other systems using the backup configuration data. This function can also be useful during volume production.
Due to the extreme importance of this data, security settings must be created and enabled to prevent its theft. Refer to the included documentation for more information on the types of data that can be processed by GOTs.